Mississauga is a vibrant city. It is expanding every day. There are different expression of integration and showing different cultures through their expressions. Mississauga Fashion Week is one of them. This is the way how different communities bring their fashions and their sense of expressing themselves. Fashion is an art. Art is the reason of integration between different communities beyond the lines. This is a very, very pleasant way of changing, exchanging cultural heritage along with the context we are living in. Canada is a multicultural society, so is our fashion. It's dynamic, ever-moving, evolutionary. Well, it's an amazing journey. We started three years ago and we're in a third year right now. We started very small and now we are going I will say that when we were starting, I'm telling everybody that we were hoping that if we even have three to four designers, we'll do the week. And if we don't have three designers, we will we'll cut it out. So starting from there, now we have over 20 designers this time. And we're moving into the Port Credit Arena from the very, we were before in the city hall. And we have grown and we are doing one of the biggest stage in the city right now, which is 60 by 8 feet. Um, and it's happening 22nd of July, uh, coming Saturday, uh, 7 to 10 p.m. Uh, today was a press release and we just wanted to have a media appreciation night where media can come in, press comes in and we just tell them what we're about to do, what's going to happen. Uh, tomorrow again, uh, we're going to have a fashion inside where we're going to have a fashion professionals coming in here, models, designers, and, you know, technical people and they'll share their wisdom and they'll try to mentor our people in the fashion industry tomorrow. And then Wednesday we have a workshop on a modeling. Coming Friday, it's going to be fashion meet art. Uh, that's where we're going to be combining fashion and arts together. And then next Saturday is the main gala. So we're going to get to see the main designers, like almost 18 designers, uh, over 100 models. And it's going to be a fabulous evening. So what are the difficulties? Well, there are always difficulties uh, trying to put something this huge together. But I'm just so thankful uh, to my team, my friends, uh, the people who believed in the concept and the idea, City of Mississauga, they all came on board. And compared to what we get, we're getting out of it, difficulties are nothing. Obviously, it's hard to put the word out. Being in Mississauga, nobody can ever think of that having a fashion week in the bedroom city. So now we're trying to tell people that it's not a bedroom city anymore. We're almost hitting 800,000 people. We're a vibrant city. So the convincing part was difficult for the first two years. But thir now third year, people are catching on. They're loving the idea and they're kind of like, you know, owning it. They're like, yes, okay, this is our city. This is our fashion week. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much, Tech TV, for covering the event. Um, so we are in third year, Misaga Fashion Week. Uh, we launched it in 2015. And uh, we, uh, we did our first uh, whole week of fashion series last year. Uh, we had 17 designer. Uh, first year, we had 14 designer. This year, again, we have 14 designers. So we're just getting bigger and better every year. Um, and uh, yeah, we are, you know, we last year we did at the City Hall, uh, this year we are going to the arena, Port Credit Arena. And um, since we're celebrating Canada 150, we just thought, you know, nothing symbolizes Canada more than uh, hockey. So that's just, you know, the whole idea came that maybe we should go to arena. And uh, this is the first ever fashion show that's happening at the arena. So we are calling it Runway on the Ring. So we are going to put the runway on the ice skating ring. So it's something different, something, you know, innovative, something creative. So we're pretty excited and looking forward to it. So what do you think that these kind of events, how much do they help to integrate different uh, communities together? Uh, it helps a lot because uh, we always do mainstream. So that means that we welcome all designers from different ethnicities. We have 14 designers this year and they belong from a, like all sort of ethnicity. So we have uh, people coming, you know, like from who have South Asian background, they have African American background. Um, we have a designer who is showcasing hijab this year on the ramp. Uh, after New York Fashion Week, this is the first city fashion week that's showcasing hijab on the RAM. So we are pretty excited and looking forward to it. She's followed by CBC. Uh, we have another designer who is actually not showcasing hijab, but she herself wears a hijab. So that's, you know, we bring the diversity. We have another designer who's showcasing bathing suits. So that's, you know, you see like we bring the diversity, not just cultural and ethnicity wise, but by, by fashion and style too. Uh, so that's how we're bringing everything together this year as well. Um, and you know, we have like a South Asian designer, we have Arab designers, so it's it's a good mixture of everyone and that's what Canada is all about, right? Just celebrate, you know, like celebrate the differences. Uh, that's what we're doing in style. So any difficulties so far you feel? We, so far, n not so much. It's just, you know, like uh, we're still learning. We are new, like we are in third year. 
but I feel we have all we all have come a long way. Uh, we have I have an amazing team of volunteers. Everybody works as a volunteer. They all do such a great job behind the scenes. Uh, we have amazing person who's doing the visuals, who's doing the backstage management. A uh, lot of volunteers, uh, girls have joined us from high school this year and university first year who are trying to, you know, like just get some, you know, like trying to explore different, you know, different fields or different areas that they might like to, you know, go for further. Uh, so, yeah, this is something, you know, like uh, we are providing platform to a lot of people. So, so it's, it's good. It's really good. It, it, gets to, it, it feels good, you know, to see that how you're making a difference in someone's life. Uh, I'm here, basically what I'm doing here, I'm supporting my friends, Aryan, Kulsum, Maruk and everybody. Uh, Morally, I worked with them last year too. This year was a huge success and this year will be another successful year uh, with the cooperation of everybody, media, especially you uh, and Tahir Bai for the tag. Um, difficulties we don't have any so far because there are four more events to go and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll do the same as last year. Hi, so I am actually born and raised in Mississauga. I was very excited to see that we have a fashion week. I'm an eco designer, I do swim and resort wear. And I'm very excited to be able to show my collection next week at the show. So what, which kind of response do you get? Do you, do you get multicultural response or specific niche market you have? Well, I've mainly been focusing on custom fitting since I launched my label five years ago and I've actually had clients that range in age and I've done all different types of work for different people. So I, I kind of, at this point, don't really pigeonhole myself. I'm very pleased to be able to make stuff for, for any, anybody. What I did was uh, I did a menswear bridal collection for Mississauga Fashion Week as well as my graduating collection. I recently graduated in, about a month ago from uh, Seneca in uh, North York. Um, and all my fabrics are eco fabrics as well as all my notions, or most of my notions, sorry. Um, and I'm actually just really excited just to get to know uh, other upcoming designers as well as designers that are already well established in the industry. Um, so that's the main reason I did my saga fashion. Um, I'm really excited about the show, like this is my first time actually participating with um, Mississauga Fashion Week and my collection is really about my culture, I'm Ghanaian and Togolese and I really wanted to incorporate my African culture in my collection so that everybody can see the beautiful prints and the colors and the textures and the different movements that the fabric makes in my culture. Um, I was really interested in fashion design as a business but I feel like I'm going to go more on costume design. I really want to do costumes for film and theater and see where that takes me. I think it's very nice they are doing something for Mississauga. It has always been in Toronto and Montreal and it's nice to bring it back home. I've been doing this for five years and this is my second time showcasing in Mississauga and I think it's a very cool thing they're doing for the city. Uh, I think that uh, these uh, events that are happening, especially the, the Fashion Week, it, it plays a very important role in uniting people together because you all, people from different backgrounds, they come together and they all uh, participate in Fashion Weeks and stuff like that. And uh, I think it just gives uh, people a, an opportunity to mingle and you know have a fun time. Number one multicultural channel. This is Tag TV.